right, we're <coughs> binding spring oats today that's undersown with grass in the bottom, that's why there's quite a bit of green in the bottom. Um, this is Tom, a little shire horse. Prince is an Irish draft. Tom's seven year old, Prince is 19, so he's a bit of a pensioner really. But anyways, they're working okay. Um, the machine we're using is a binder, Hornsby of Grantham. Uh, it was made in about 1918 and uh, bought it last November and it had never worked since 1947. So um, it was went on to the little farm at Billingham and uh, it was used through the war years when everyone had to plough out and that. But after the war, obviously, they went back down to grass and uh, it was put in the shed and never saw light of day again until November till it came to the sale at Hexham. We bought it there and we've done a bit of renovation on it and uh, tried to get it going. And it ties most of them. I'm not saying it's tying every one, but it is getting better. So. It, um, for something that's 95 year old, it isn't doing too bad. So what's the process? Does it gather the wheat and, and then Yeah, we, we uh, cut it into sheaves and then we go and stook it um, sort of uh, sort of north-south. They've got a face north-south, so the sun rises in the east, comes round, sets in the west. And um, they get the, the sun at equal both sides of the day. And um, they stand about, they used to reckon three church bells, so about a fortnight, and uh, they ripen in the stook because you cut it slightly green so that when it's been thrown out of the binder it doesn't lost the, the corn out of the ear. And then you cart it in and build a stack and then we'll thrash it later on for animal feed, for horses, sheep, cattle, whatever. So.